So you're looking at, you know, a couple hundred pounds of potassium just being carried off. And we know from mineral, primary and secondary nutrients in the soil that you're not going to be able to make all of that available that you have and that you've been putting out over time. Yep. So you're going to have to have your potassium levels and feed it throughout the season with either foliar or dry. In this particular case, we fed it with a lot of foliar. So we have high availabilities throughout the plant's life to make sure that we're giving it everything it needs to make pods like that. Yep. You know, we're sitting there talking about all the potassium and we're looking at beans that we're really trying to fill pods. Reed. What's something we can do do to these beans? I know we're later in the season to try to fill pods because that's been a big topic here lately. Yeah, so I would say for sure, like calcium in general is just a natural stress mitigator. And then your potassium is gonna synthesize your proteins later on in the season as well. So I think just those two in general yep. are, are gonna be major players when you got 85 degree night temperatures and that plant's having trouble to respirate at, during the nighttime. I think those two would be great. We're really trying to, trying to push calcium Push, push the K and, and, and make these beans feel like they at least feel good at night. Right, absolutely. So we're kind of at the end of our, our, where we feel like we're really starting to push beans. We're trying to fill pods and, you know, really get all the bushels we can right here at the end. Um, you know, we've, you've heard kind of where we are on, on fruit and sides, what we can do to, to finish out these pods and hopefully we'll see what happens here in the next month or so. And what did Bert guarantee? Uh, Bert said we were going to grow somewhere around uh, 150 bushel. Y'all think we got it? Bert said oh, that. Bert said that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank y'all for coming, Jacob. Appreciate you, and, and we'll see y'all sometime soon.